Hey, what is going on viewers? Welcome back to another episode of Matt's Mind here on the channel. It's been way too long since the last episode. I think the last one we did was live at Brick Fair. So it's been like over a month. I apologize. I've just been busy doing other things and now I finally have time to sit down and answer some of you guys' questions. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this video Q&A series here on the channel, it's a weekly series we do, or at least it should be weekly series. If you guys have any questions or comments for discussion, go ahead and put them down below in the comments section and of course subscribe to stay up to date and see if your question gets answered in next week's update. So we'll just go ahead and get started right off the bat here we have the first question come from mike and ike productions what is your dream lego space would you buy a house with as many rooms for your lego collection like solid bricks or would you buy a shed with a few massive rooms just like brick vault i gotta say i think the the dream setup for me would definitely having my lego space in the same home as where i'm actually living i don't like the idea of having to go out and get some gas and drive in my car or transport myself to go to my lego collection especially since it's lego it's one thing if it's work and a different thing but i feel like if it's a lego collection it kind of serves a better purpose staying in your house that way I can wake up I can work really early in the morning or late at night on my Lego collection and then when I'm done I can just literally go watch some TV or hang out or something like that instead of having to drive and get in my car and so for argument's sake I think you said David Solbrick Studios or Brick Vault I definitely have to go with what David's got going for him right now he does have his house with his Lego collection in the same house so that is definitely like the ideal situation for me I'm not there yet but hopefully one day I will be the next question comes from Infernal Bricks asking what would you think would be a possible Star Wars trilogy in the future now the one trilogy I am really advocating for is an old republic style i think there was a rumor i'm not sure if it's confirmed or something changed i really haven't stayed in the loop with it but i heard the game of thrones producers were going to be coming to star wars for a trilogy coming in 2022 or something like that but if i had to really honestly advocate for a trilogy about a specific genre or like sub theme in star wars i would really love to explore the old republic namely like the sith and like just during the time where the sith were like this giant big force to be reckoned with i think that'd be super cool it's something about star wars we haven't really seen before except in like comic books and other lore so getting a movie getting a real awesome movie with some gore with some really cool different unique ideas in star wars about the old republic i think that'd be the number one thing i'd really really be advocating for but when it comes down to it it's star wars it's the trilogy so no matter what they make it about i'm still inevitably gonna watch it next question here comes from carter deering good luck like always but will you be attending brick fiesta 2020 with jay also who's your favorite clone trooper favorite clone trooper i really don't know too many honestly i probably just gonna go with rex because he's like the most famous one and he's kind of cool will i be going to brick fiesta 2020 i'm not gonna say yes i'm not gonna say no it all depends on my situation at the time am i really knee deep in a mock series am i really pushing out videos and do i have the time to take away am i working am i gonna be doing something else i really don't know what i love to absolutely go into brick fiesta uh with jay garrett and mark was a really fun time and hopefully next year in 2020 we can get that same exact thing go and help jay and garrett bring their mocks to the convention so so do i want to absolutely 100 percent yes um do i think it will happen i honestly think it will like i said it just depends on my money situation how much the plane tickets are costing at the time so it's not like an inevitable yes or no it's not a definite yes or no but it's definitely something i'm looking forward to hopefully going back sometime in the near future next question here comes from tg bricks if you had to re sign a Star Wars film with which one would it be I'm assuming you mean like redesign a Star Wars film I definitely got to go with episode 2 which is in my opinion the worst Star Wars movie I think episode 2 the story and like what's going on is actually really interesting the entire saga about the Clone Wars starting up and you know the huge separatist plot and stuff like that is a really really cool idea unfortunately I just don't think it was executed well between a couple of things most notably I think the dialogue and the script is utterly trash if I'm being honest now I couldn't do any better I'm not a script writer I'm not a filmmaker but when it came to stuff like the cringy um, dialogue between Anakin and Padme and the back and forth between Anakin and Obi-Wan especially in the beginning with Padme and Anakin uh, in the apartments on Coruscant like that stuff just a little weird there are also a couple of weird scenes that just didn't feel normal especially towards the later half with the battle or leading up to the battle of Geonosis so I'd love to go back and redesign episode 2 because honestly episode 2 if you take a look at like the story and what's going on and if you take away all the bad stuff like it's a really interesting and really good movie so i'd love to go back and rework that make it to basically what i'd love it to be now obviously that being said that might not necessarily be what you want it to be i obviously make it to my own i guess like standards if that makes sense so i'd like to go back in episode two and redesign it that's also a good question for you guys what movie if you had to choose one of star wars and that could be including new disney movies as well which one would you guys like to see remade next question here comes from rnt productions do you prefer the new or old stormtrooper helmets by the way has anyone else had trouble up on youtube I haven't had trouble uploading videos to YouTube. Back to your real question, um, do I prefer the newer old Stormtrooper molds? I've got to say I prefer the old ones. I'm not saying like the super old 1990s, early 2000s. My favorite one is during the Rogue One battle packs and during that sort of wave of, of Lego sets, the ones that came in the Imperial uh, 
uh, trooper battle pack and the ones that came in like the ATST and stuff like that. Those are really good ones. I love those. The only issue I have with the newer ones is well, actually there's two issues. Number one, they just look completely out of scale. Like the helmet looks like it's taking up a third of their body, which just really isn't realistic at all. And another thing I really don't like about the new mold is that when you try and turn your head, or sorry, turn the minifigure's head, you can't do that because the chin piece on the mold like comes down to here, which again is just not realistic. So I like the older ones. I think they're far superior, and that's why I have like 80 or 90 of the older stormtroopers to use hopefully one day uh, in another mock in the Imperial era. But I gotta say, the older ones are just better. Next question here comes from Zach uh, Stiletto. Do you see yourself doing a collab built in the future? Absolutely. I had done a few collaborations before. In fact, I'd honestly say I'm not one to normally do collabs because I'm usually building large scale mocks and that's where most of my parts go towards. But I have done collaborations for Empire Lug and stuff like that. But in terms of like a legitimate like inter YouTube creators uh, sort of collaboration, me, Jay, um, Chris, David, Garrett have all like sort of played around the fact that we could do a collaboration, but in all honesty, it'd be difficult for all of us to bring our uh, mocks to one place because Chicago is really far for all of us and Virginia is far for half of us. So it'd just be difficult getting all of the, the, the physical mocks there together. So I think realistically, I'd probably have to do something with people who would be coming to Brick Fair Virginia who would be able to bring a mock. So, so I have been thinking of a couple of things to do, maybe like one or two years down the road, um, but nothing set in stone. I'm always open to the idea. I know a lot of people have been asking me if I'm I'm ever going to do a large scale collaboration because let's, let's face it if you combine the large scale mock builders and the size like myself and David and Chris and Garrett and Jay um, that would be just an astoundingly large beautiful mock so one day it will happen I promise you I don't know when I don't know where I don't know what but it is coming one day the next question here comes from Xander Melb should Lego make force unleash sets I would love them to, although I don't, gotta be honest, I don't think there's nearly enough demand for sets, especially with the new episodes coming out for episode 9, the Clone Wars TV show, The Mandalorian. I just don't think there is a legitimate reason to start out of nowhere pushing sets for a game that released, what, like 8 or 9 years ago? So, the game, don't get me wrong, is fantastic. I love playing The Force Unleashed. I still would like to play it to this day if I had my old PS. But I just don't think many people know of it or really, like, desire it too much for LEGO to actually do it, so I don't think we're gonna get those. Next question here comes from Imperial Bricks Productions, uh, have you ever had any minifigure pieces stolen from you at a brick fair convention? Not that I know of. Honestly, I probably bring so much Lego with me to the conventions where if someone took one or two pieces, I probably wouldn't know, but nothing noticeable has been taken. Like I've never had a minifigure stolen or like a tree or a gunship or something like that. Although I have heard horror stories of people having that stuff stolen from them and more often than not, it's actually from convention attendees and not the public. Like the registrants are usually the ones who are stealing stuff. Stuff. Um, so thankfully I have not had any issues with that or run-ins. I hopefully don't have any of those My advice if that does happen to any of you guys watching is just really just stay with your mocks and only set up with people You know that won't steal it if that makes sense, but I've never had a problem with that Hopefully I never will next question here comes from Cameron Clark love the videos Matt appreciate that How much of a bad batch story do you think we'll be getting in the new season of the Clone Wars? Well, so the new season of the Clone Wars is gonna have three different arcs and each arc is gonna have four episodes The first arc I believe this is in the order but the first arc is gonna be um, Ahsoka and like her life basically after she left and stuff like that The second one's gonna be the bad batch arc and then the third one's gonna be the Mandalorian arc each of those arcs is gonna have four episodes I think it's 12 episodes total so I have no involvement with the creations of those episodes so I don't know that for 100% fact but as far as I'm aware it's four episodes each arc the Bad Batch is one of those arcs so we're gonna get four episodes the last question for today comes from light side Kylo if you can make an official Lego Star Wars set of any size and mass what would it be that's a great question because there are lots of ships and flagships and and just capital ships we'd all love to see made in lego if i had to go for one that would undoubtedly sell really well especially if lego could recreate it on a large scale um i would definitely go with the venator i honestly think the venator is probably one of the most iconic ships from star wars especially from the clone wars i know a lot of people have been asking for a venator from lego so if i had the necessary skill unlimited amount of parts in the okay from lego i would love to have a vendor like a UCS like similar to the ISD coming out like sort of to scale I think would be pretty cool because I do think the Venator is noticeably smaller than the ISD if I'm not mistaken but I want to go with the Venator I think it's one of those sets where even if you don't like the prequels or you do or you hate the sequels like you'd love that set and I think it's sort of one of the rare things that everyone would love so I'd love to make that anyways guys thank you all so much for watching this episode of Matt's Mind hope you all enjoyed I'm gonna try and get us back on a weekly schedule here I'm still trying to figure out my schedule in terms of school and work so bear with me 
me for the next week or so, but we still have great stuff coming up. Of course, we were working on an axis. If you guys haven't already checked it out, go ahead and do so. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe and stay up to date with all the videos coming out. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Thank you.